What's up everybody, what's good? My name is EK and welcome to What's Good English. This is just gonna be a really quick update. I got asked this particular question a lot of times this week and I wanted to make a video response for it and it's a really cool answer, so I think you guys will enjoy it too, so here we go. If the plural of mouse is mice, why isn't the plural of house heist? I can definitely answer this, but it's gonna take a lot longer than one minute. Irregular plurals go all the way back to Old English when English more closely resembled its Germanic brother, German. By the way, I know that I said English was like another romance language language about a month and a half ago, which is a statement that I still 100% stand behind, however it was disingenuous of me to not tell you that linguists classify languages based on their family of origin. They do not take into consideration their current vocabulary or any grammatical changes they've undergone. So while English has been heavily influenced by Latin and French to the extent that even non-bilingual speakers can figure out what this post from the language nerd says, English is still a Germanic language. It's also Italic's play cousin and I will die on that hill. Anyway, back to the lesson. First of all, the plural of house never would have been hees. That's because Old English was a gendered language like German and it had different suffixes based off of whether or not the noun was masculine, feminine, or neuter. The plural of house would have been hus, husa, or husum, depending on the sentence that you were making. I actually featured some of this in a video that I made entitled Vikings Learning English. It didn't do so well with the views, but I thought it was good. Anyway, that brings me to my second point. Some linguists attribute the change in English's pluralization system to the Vikings that were conquering and settling in England between 800 and 1000 AD. To oversimplify everything, they had to learn the language as adults, they learned it badly and passed it on to their children, and so on and so forth. Whether you want to attribute it to the Vikings or the Norman invasion or Shakespeare, the fact is that a language is a constant moving target. Now some of you might be wondering, okay, well why do we still say mice and feet instead of mouses and foots? And the simplest answer is, is that parts of languages are extremely persistent. Latin, for example, was a language that did not permit you to end a sentence in a preposition, and you still can't in any of its offspring. I'll give you a really cool example of persistence that you might not know about. Spanish is a gendered language with feminine words like agua, aula, ada that take the masculine article L, except that masculine article L is actually feminine when it's used with those words. Here's why. While Spanish was becoming Spanish, it had different masculine and feminine articles, ie and ia. So before it was el agua, it was ie aqua. And over time, in many years of people saying ie aqua, ie aqua, ie aqua, it became el agua. But that L preserves the original sound of ia. By the way, I learned that from Lynn Gutiosa. All credit to her. She makes amazing content. You should follow her on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to her YouTube. That's it for this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Ciao.